The fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, before we get into the reaction, though, make sure you guys look at the links down below in the description. You can find my Twitch channel where I live stream, my Patreon where I'm 10 episodes ahead on everything that I'm watching, my Discord, come on in and join our community, and of course, my Twitter. All the links down below in the description. Um, so last episode, again, a lot of things happened. Like a regular freaking, you know, uh, Game of Thrones episode. What do we get? What do we got going on right now? We got so John, is, John Snow is hanging out with the Wildlings, and apparently they uh, are planning to launch an attack on Castle Black, which is where the Night's Watch is, right? Um, so now we're gonna see, you know, where John's allegiance truly is. I actually don't know what he plans to do. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, it, it, if anything, a Jon Snow type of thing, uh, I could imagine, since he's a very honorable guy, um, maybe he wants to unite them in some way, because let's be honest, the Wildlings and the people south of the Wall, they're pretty much the same goddamn people. The Wildlings are just a little bit more... wild. Yeah? Um, but for the most part, they're the same people, so maybe that that's what Jon wants to do. You know what I'm saying? If if he wanted to kill Mance Raider, I feel like Jon could have done it by now. It seems like Mance trusts him to a degree. Um, but this will be the true test of, you know, what John's true intentions are. So, uh, that's developing over there. What else we got? We got, um, we got our boy Theon, uh, being saved twice by this amazing guy that Yara hired. Uh, not, not only did he free Theon from the, you know, the torture shackles, but he also saved Theon from being, from being freaking raped by some dudes. Ew, disgusting. Um... You know what I'm saying? So I don't know who this guy is, Yara, but you hired not nice. Nice job on freaking hiring this random dude. Is he also a great joy? He doesn't strike me as a great joy. Um, you know what I mean? But uh hey, fuck it. Yara hired a great person. So now Theon can get away and you know, hopefully he learns from this these two terrible experiences of freaking being tortured and almost being raped. Hopefully that makes him, you know more weary of his stupid ass decisions as he's been making and becomes a better person off of it so anyway thanks to whoever that random is he's uh he's pretty good um and then we have daenerys trading one of her dragons for the unsullied army um so he, here's my here are my thoughts on that i thought it was as of right now it depends when she wants to attack if she wants to attack soon then i think um, first of all, first of all, I want to say she thinks of those dragons as children, so I don't think that's worth it in in in, in a subjective way. It's never worth it because that's your freaking children, right? But objectively speaking, right now, if she wants to attack like in a year or very soon, these dragons are not going to be adults very soon. It's going to take them a while to grow. So right now, if she wants to attack soon, this is a good trade, objectively, because she'll get these crazy-ass unsullied uh, soldiers, and even though there's only 8,000 of them, I feel like one unsullied man is worth at least three other men, because we saw freaking dude chop off his nipple, no reaction. So they don't feel pain, they don't have emotions, and they will do exactly what you say, no matter how fucked up it is, right? So... This it's like they, they they're the perfect soldiers from 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 what, I, from what I understand, and she also has a little Dothraki horde who are pretty much the opposite. <laughs> they are they are a savages savage, right? So in that sense, it's good. Um, but if she wants to attack, you know, a while from now, obviously keeping the dragon would be better. It does seem like a weird trade. It seems uncharacteristic of her to sell one of her children to get an army. Um, but hey, she wants to be the queen of queens. She knows what she's doing. Uh, her council. Her council looked surprised, so I don't think she discussed it with them. Um, but hey, we'll see what happens. Um, also, we have obtained a new beautiful girl named Misande. They, they, they just keep adding these beautiful women, man. Freaking Marjorie, Misande, what is it? when does it stop? I have no complaints. It's just they keep doing it. I love it. Anyway, uh, and I believe the last thing that happened last episode that stood out to me was, of course, Jamie losing his hand. And as, I mean, here's the thing. Jamie is kind of known for one thing, right? Kingslayer. And how did he slay the king? He put a freaking sword through uh, through his back, probably with his dominant hand. He se he seems to be right-handed. So now, um, I mean, he, he Jamie is considered one of the best swordsmen right now, correct? And now that he doesn't have his dominant hand, that's literally losing his power. You know, 
I don't know if he, he can probably do okay with his left, but probably nowhere near of his dominant. So the fact that he has lost his hand, and we're living in like a medieval kind of world right now, so I doubt they can replace it with an actual like, you know, synthetic Sekiro hand. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, we'll see what what happens. It the way they showed it was fucking. They showed the bone and the freaking ugh. It was. It, it looked real. Um, so yeah, they ended off with him screaming his ass off like you would if you lost a freaking hand. So anyway, that's where we are. So let's see what happens in this next episode. We are on season three, episode four. Um, let's get it going. Like, subscribe, yo. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, there it is. Oh, right off. Oh, they're making him wear it like a necklace. Ah! Ew. Ew. Damn, Jamie. Oh, Jamie, bro. How much has he fallen? Is he is that is that even mud? Is that just shit? To go from like Lannister royalty life to this. Jesus, bro. Fuck, man. I never thought I would see the day where I'd feel bad for Jamie. I mean, he freaking fucked his sister. But I guess that's the only really bad thing he's done. That's pretty bad though. <laughs> I don't want to like, you know, discount that at all. Because that's pretty bad. Hmm. So Game of Thrones is trying to make us feel bad for someone doing incest. Very interesting. You know, morality shifts. Is it okay that he's getting his shit kicked in right now? Living the worst life? You know, does he deserve it? That's up to y'all, man. I feel bad for him, real shit. But what he wanted was far worse. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, yet did nothing to dull my senses. Whoa. With a hooked blade, he sliced me, root and stem, chanting all the while. He burned my parts Jesus. What the fuck kind of potion is this? Paralyzing potion that you can still feel? Oh. Are you going to give him one? Why? Give me. to hold it for you until he came back. You're back. I don't want your stupid simple. I want to save my baby's life. Can you do that? Can you? Damn it. Now he's gonna... Yeah. Well, he gave him a mission. Damn it. Sam. Ah, he doesn't know this girl. I do think it's very noble and great of him to, you know, help her out. Go to the ends of Earth to save her baby. Yes. But he doesn't even know this girl, bro. That's, that's the only problem I got with it. But we do have to save the baby. That is priority. Save the baby, then see what happens afterwards. He's just getting himself into a lot of trouble over a girl he doesn't even fucking know at all. Is he very large? No larger than usual, apparently. And yet they said that he was... Extraordinary. The most extraordinary man they've ever had. What? And they've had a lot of men. We're talking about the same portrait. Quiet <laughs> boy. <laughs> Lord Tyrion, so <gasps> what? <laughs> nice job, Pod. <laughs> we mothers do what we can to keep our sons from the grave. They do seem to yearn for it. We shower them with good sense. And it slides right off like rain up a wing. And yet the world belongs to them. A ridiculous arrangement in my mind. <laughs> Dude, I like freaking old lady Tyrell, bro. I, I don't know her name. I'm sorry. I like her. Well, look at that. A gentle wave, says Joffrey. <laughs> Damn, Marjorie's nice. She's nice, bro. Poor orphans living with the farmer. Fucked up, Dion. Fucked up, boy. Slit their throats. And I let 
him burn the body. So I could keep Winterfell. Pathetic. At least he knows it now. Make my father proud. Alright, well at least Theon knows his shit is wrong, right? That's good. So now he can change. Good. Character development, hopefully. I brought him back. He, he killed the others. What? No, I didn't. You can't. <gasps> What? Put him back where he belongs. Huh? Wait. That guy was a spy? Fuck. Theon! Was he trying to get Theon to confess or some shit? What? Damn. I got juked. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? He's a really good actor. I had no idea. <laughs> I saw it hurt. It was that hand. Kind of true. You have a taste. Not the taste of the real world. Where people have important things taken from them. And you whine and cry and quit. You sound like a bloody woman. Tell him, Brianne. Also, this is very friendly of her to do. You know, that's just what you do to a friend. You know, get him back up. Hmm. Are they becoming... F Wait, what? <laughs> They're actually, like, kind of becoming a... You know... A, like, a, like a friendship. Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey. She knows how to manipulate him. Good. I wish you knew how to manipulate him. <laughs> I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I distrust you because you're not as smart as you think you are. Okay. <laughs> Tywin. Damn. Tywin is really good at destroying his kids' egos. <laughs> First it was Tyrion, and now it's Cersei. <laughs> he just shut her shit down immediately. I love it. Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. If Robb Stark falls... Sansa Stark is the key to the north. And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. Which seems such a shame. Why should a man with such a low reputation steal away such a lovely bride? Damn. So Varys said it himself. Littlefinger is the most dangerous because he's got connections. He constantly lies. He's not afraid to do any of this shit. Well, go ahead and add the old lady Tyrell to the more interesting characters of the show. Her dialogue there with Varys was amazing. Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be queen. And if you were to marry Loras... Oh, oh she likes that. Your place would be at Highgarden, wouldn't it? Hey! We would be sisters, you and I. That... Would you like that? ...is an idea. Also, was that Varys' plan that he told old lady Tyrell that she told Marjorie? I think it was! That's a good idea. That'll keep her safe. And around, you know, Tyrell seem wealthy and good, like good people. I'm with it. I'm with it. How do you, you little thief? And you? And you? Go sleep in the cold and empty bellies. <clears throat> I'll chop the hands off the next man who calls me bastard. I feel like we just outnumber Craster. Can we just body him? No? Hello? I can't be the only one thinking this. You are a bastard. <gasps> a daughter fucking wildling bastard. Ooh! He got him! Um. Wait, why is he attacking the girl now? I shall have your head. Why? 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 He's still alive. Body him, Lord Commander. It looks like there was a freaking coup d'etat, you know, divide in the group. I had no idea. Dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? Quickly! Quickly! 
I hate that guy. I hate that guy. Okay, Sam. Sam, save her. I mean, now he has to fucking save her, right? He has to run away now. It's not safe with that, within that group. That group is turmoiled. I hate this guy. What? Well, uh, he just killed Lord Commander. What the fuck? Trial by combat, I get again. Okay, well, that seems like a terrible decision because the Hound is a really good fighter. <laughs> Or is the little girl the bravest one here? Also, I, I like the hound actually. I don't want him to die. I? So. She might be. But it's me you'll fight. Oh, the leader of the Brotherhood. Cool. Alright. Alright. New character introduced. Damn, they just don't stop, huh? They don't care. I love that. Fuck it, make it more confusing. <laughs> Introduce more characters. I love it. I can keep up. Ooh. Teenage dragon. They make that shit look so real. What the fuck? Hmm. Yeah. It's like, Mom, Mom, why? Why'd you sell me <laughs> to an asshole? You ain't got any freezer dice! Uh, oh! I see. That was her plan. You know what? This is okay. This may seem like a... So here's the thing. It may seem like a tyrant way to do things, but that guy was an asshole. So it's okay. <laughs> Burn his ass. Dude. Oh. Daenerys Stormborn. She's the chosen one, dog. She's the chosen one, dog. What the fuck? Damn. And she got that now? Frickin' unsullied army. Soldier soldiers. That's fire. No dragons were lost. Oh, wow. Amazing. That's gotta be a good thing, yes? Yes, my queen. Yes, my queen. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. She's the chosen one, dog. How is she losing? She just obtained a freaking army. Of manly, manly men. <gasps> That's so... Oh, she doesn't even need the whip. And the fact that they're choosing to follow her over their free will is even better. That means their loyalty is even stronger. Oh my. Look at that. Oh, with the dragons. <gasps> How can she lose? Seriously. There's no way she's losing. <laughs> How can she lose, bro? Her dragons are growing, and she just obtained a crazy army. What the fuck? Oh. My. Okay, so here's the thing. I think she needs a bit more. Yes? She got a great army. She can probably go head up with those three teenage dragons and her little army right now. She can probably go head up with, with, with you know, a few people. Maybe. Maybe. Because one of these unsullied men is worth three regular men. Three regular soldiers. Agreed? Agreed. Just because how they were raised and how they were, you know how they are um so she i think she she needs a little bit more she needs to be like i feel like she wants to be overwhelmingly strong you know because you know if you're equal that means your forces 
you know, a lot of your army are gonna, are gonna be, you know, uh, deleted during the fight and whatnot. So I feel like she's looking for that overwhelming victory. So there's no debate as to who deserves the Iron Throne, right? And I believe that'll happen once her dragons are fully grown. Because once them bitches are grown, you can't fight against her. Because she has the Unsullied, and then she'll have three adult dragons. She'll just lay waste to anyone who opposes her, right? Um, so, yeah. Dude, she's a chosen one, man. <laughs> how does she? How is she gonna lose if her grad dragons grow up? Well played. That was well played, and I agree with that play. Even though it seemed a bit tyranty, you know, like uh, the old Targaryens, those guys were assholes. They're, they're, sla they're slave masters, so they're immediate assholes, right? So laying waste to them, burning fire to them, having them killed, it's totally okay. You know what I mean? So, well done. Um, and I do love the fact how the none of the none of the unsullied left to be free men. They are choosing without the whip to be by her side and they're still in formation <laughs> amazing amazing oh my god nice way to end the episode um all right let's go over what happened jamie um and brianne i want to say their duo is surprisingly like you know they looked out for each other jamie looked out for her when they were gonna rape her she looked out for him when he was losing confidence and was about to kill himself off starvation, you know? And she told him, hey, don't be a bitch. You still got, you, you lost a freaking hand. You still have your whole life. So, you know, very unexpected for them to become, you know, kind of a, a friendship growing. I feel that, you know what I mean? Um, Tyrion and Varys interaction. Again, very good when those two characters interact. Although, am I supposed to know that guy? That was given to Tyrion. I don't know who I don't I don't know who that is. So I, I may have missed something. I don't know. Um, next, I want to talk about the Tyrells. They're making some plays along with Varys. Marjorie is slowly but surely wrapping freaking little Joffrey around her finger, right? Because she's and, and 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 what's crazy is she's not even doing it by like sex. She's actually doing it by making him a good king. Obviously, Joffrey is a freaking crazy psychotic asshole, but um, any king wants their people to love them. And she kind of did that, you know, by visiting the orphanage, making them love her. Because if they love her, kind of, kind of, you know, and she's hanging out with Joffrey, they'll realize, oh, maybe Joffrey's not too bad if she likes him. You know what I'm saying? So, very well done. And that's only going to make Joffrey like her even more over his mother, right? Uh, which makes Cersei lose power. Speaking of Cersei, I love... I love how, okay, so Tywin does a really good job of putting his kids in his in their place. <laughs> he did it to Tyrion, which was very cruel, and I still, you know, he's, a, he's an asshole for that. Um, but he did it to Cersei, and I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> he put her ass in her place. You're not as smart as you think you are. Oh man, that was good, that was good. I love that. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, speaking of the Tyrells, so... I believe Varys' plan, Varys said it himself, he rec re he recognizes Littlefinger as a fucking problem. And he is, you know what I mean? Littlefinger is out to get, I mean, he said it to one of, to, to one of, uh, to his assistant, uh, Hoor, right? Um, that he wants the world, he wants everything, right? And I think he really does. So, uh, especially if you come from nothing, right? Um, so... Varys realizes it and said, like, Littlefinger, he's got the connections, he's got the mouthpiece, he's got the resources, you know what I mean, to really make that happen, you know what I'm saying? And and Littlefinger's decisions are very, very, um, you know, um, strategic, and Varys is keeping track of that, so, um, as much as I love Varys and Littlefinger as a duo, um, they're obviously paying very close attention to each other, which makes it even more entertaining, um... And the Tyrells are apparently, to save Sansa, they are, or rather to, you know, I mean, so Sansa marrying Loras not only protects Sansa, but it also increases their name. Like, the Tyrells right now are doing a really good job of, like, increasing their stock and increasing other people's stock as well. Marjorie with, with, with Joffrey, you know, Sansa with the whole Loras thing coming up, like... And I love this old lady Tyrell. I forgot her name. I'm sorry. I can't remember her name. I'll, I'll, I'll remember eventually. I can't remember her name. But old lady Tyrell has been added to 
the Varys, Littlefinger, and Tyrion list to some of the best dialogues in the show, because she is very interesting. She's badass to me. Um, also, Theon. Let's talk about Theon. Um, so I did like how Theon eventually realized that what he's been doing, all this fuck shit, is wrong. I, I like how he finally realized that to this random dude. And apparently this random dude was a spy? Because he's right back to where he started at that freaking torture uh, cross, the X cross. <laughs> so I don't know if he, would, if he wanted Theon to, to um, you know, to confess about the little farmer boy's deaths first before putting him back on this torture chamber. But uh, damn, he's a good actor. I thought <laughs> so that means Yara didn't hire this guy or maybe he's just you know the Greyjoys don't really have a great reputation right now so maybe he you know maybe he has been paid off by the other company more money to put him back right so nice job holy shit so Theon it looks like he's about to be tortured some more you know and it sucks because it, I feel like he finally realized what he was doing was wrong and maybe would have became a, a better character after that but now now he's kind of fucked so uh whoops <laughs> anything else that happened oh yes the freaking the crows with croster so i agree with croster dying but why were they plotting to coup d'etat the freaking lord commander like i didn't even see that coming it just came out of nowhere so now they're all fucked. Sam ran away with with, with a girl and her baby. You know what I mean? So good job, Sam, protecting her. You know, because they have to get out of there. You know, even though he barely knows her, he definitely has to get out of there. You know, even though a couple of his friends are there, that situation is fucked. They're all gonna kill each other. So, get out. Okay. So there's that. But the Lord Commander. Oh my God. That's that sucks. Um. Last thing we should talk about is the Hound. Apparently getting a trial by combat going up against this new character introduced. I, you know what I love? I love how they're not afraid to keep introducing new characters because there is a risk in doing that. There is a risk in the audience not being able to keep up, right? Um, but I love how they just keep doing it. They just keep doing it and and these these characters are interesting. It's not like they're just there for fodder. They seem like they have a purpose and I love that. I love how this show isn't afraid to keep doing stuff like killing off characters, introducing new characters, you know, making fucking bold moves. It's a, uh, it's a pretty good show. Yeah, <laughs> it's a decent show. I'll give it that. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, another fire episode. Daenerys is the freaking chosen one. Obtained the Unsullied. Kept her dragon. Laid waste to the slave masters. And dude, I'm loving it. So anyway, um, I can't wait to watch the next episode. But before I end this reaction, make sure you guys look at the links down below in the description. You can find my Twitch channel where I live stream, my Patreon where I'm 10 episodes ahead on everything that I'm watching with the full reactions available, of course, my Discord, come on in and join our community, and of course my Twitter. All the links down below in the description. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you guys next Game of Thrones episode. Alright, peace.